I think what I enjoy about being a nurse is just helping people and it is so wonderful like you're gonna have your days where you're might have your clients or patients that aren't maybe as appreciative or aggravated or you know it's just kind of like one right after the other but then you have some some people that are just so appreciative and so thankful for just being there to either teach them about something or help them with something and it's nice it's nice seeing the progress in, in clients and patients I have just always been interested in healthcare for whatever reason since I've been little. When I was in high school, I had a health apprenticeship. Just always had that desire to help people. When you're a nurse or any type of healthcare person in the healthcare field, and then you are also taking care of somebody who may have a medical condition or be terminally ill, it is extremely, extremely exhausting. That's all I can say. It's exhausting because you are being this nurse as your job and then you go home and then you're taking care of somebody so it's like your job never ends. So it's a very emotional thing but I think the best maybe advice that I could give in regards to that is just to make sure to take time for yourself and that there's probably going to be times where you're going to be frustrated and want to cry and just cry and let it out and just to make sure to take time for yourself every once in a while. When I worked in the hospital, I had a coworker who was from the Philippines and she always talked about these mission trips and always begged me to go on them. And depending what country you go to, like it's very expensive to have some of, like when I was doing surgery the one day, it was very, very expensive to actually have those surgical procedures. So when you're on a mission trip and you have doctors and nurses who aren't getting paid, they're there just giving their time to help you, it just means a lot. Going on a mission trip, or just even out of the country in itself is so eye-opening. It just shows how different the other side of the world or wherever you're going is and it just makes you really, really extremely, extremely grateful for what you have, how you're brought up, your education, even the healthcare and our healthcare system like any other is not perfect, but it just makes you grateful for everything that you have. As a nurse, with my current job, some of the biggest challenges I face is that trying to teach and educate clients of different ages and different cultural groups. Everybody has a different learning style and that can be quite challenging sometimes. And then within that, I think the other part is limits. There are limits to my job, meaning that I can't fix every problem and there's only so much that I can do. You see sometimes a lack of education, just not that knowing or how to approach and go about getting healthcare access and then part of the other part is people without insurance, how it's harder for them to maybe access that health care with people who do have insurance. My own medical conditions and concerns and actually being a nurse and working in health care, that's something I think I tend to struggle with. I personally like have Crohn's disease and I just, I've always been, I always put other people before me and over the years I've learned that you can't take care of somebody else until you've taken care of yourself.